Mm. Hello, Michael Bridge. Hello, Rob. <laughs> Some breaking news. Can we break it yet? We can, we can break it. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, we, can, we can announce that Tottenham Hotspur have signed Archie Gray from Leeds United. There he is. Spurs have announced it that he is now a Tottenham Hotspur player. Archie Gray joins Tottenham from Leeds with Joe Roden going in the other way. He goes back to Leeds, of course, because he spent last season on loan at Ellen Road. So we believe the fee's around 25 to 30 million pounds for Archie Gray. Joe Roden's going to be a separate deal, so maybe a package around 40 million pounds. But Archie Gray is in, and Joe Roden goes back to Leeds. That's a great deal because he's a great prospect, isn't he? Um, I'm a bit confused though because Saturday night he was going to Brentford. Um, did he just keep driving and end up in, in, in North London? What well, he, happened there? Well, he was travelling for a medical, but the terms between the two clubs couldn't get finalised. And in the end, the deal didn't get done. Now, people say, oh, is that, did Tottenham and other clubs come in last minute? That's not necessarily the case at all. This, this has been a player Spurs and other top clubs have looked at for some time. He played so many games in the Championship. Like, he's played over 50 Championship games already. <laughs> you remember as well uh, uh, the, uh, the FA Cup fifth round match at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea. Mm -hmm. He was absolutely superb in that centre of midfield. Clubs have been watching him for some time. And Spurs have now got this deal done. Although we talk about him being a potential number six, versatility, can play at right back as well. It's a very, very good signing for Spurs and they're looking to add real homegrown talent and this is one of them. Yeah, great footballing pedigree as well for him. Will he go straight into that Spurs first team? Well, I think given Spurs are in the Europa League next season, uh, I think that, that's, that, that's a big reason why I do believe he'll play a big part in Tottenham's first team. Look, this is, this is quite a bit of money. You know, it, 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 Spurs giving around 25 to 30 million pounds. So for me, I think, I think he will play a big part in the first team. You've seen already how fearless he is. There's that picture uh, that everyone has seen on social media of Archie Gray sort of in the middle, giving these, Le giving these Leeds teammates a real, talk, uh, a real talk. I think it was in the playoffs as well. So he's already got that sort of old head on the young shoulders. He's only just 18 as well. So it's very, very positive. As I say, with the Europa League as well, Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, I fully expect him to be a real part of the first team. Yeah. Um, you said it's, it's, it's a lot of money, but is there more money to spend? Uh, what are their other transfer targets? I think they're looking at a versatile forward, someone who can play across the front line. That, that would be a priority for Spurs. That's the way Ange Postacoglu likes to play. But let's also remember, this is their third summer signing. Lucas Bergville has come in. They signed him last January. He's very exciting, attacking, creative midfielder. And, of course, Spurs have signed, re-signed Timo Werner on loan until the end of next season. So there's three in already. And hopefully for Spurs fans, more to come. But, of course, what we've seen over the last month, maybe it was a quieter month than many expected because of PSR. We're now in a different PSR financial year. It's now July. Players, clubs are now returning to training. Pre-season friendlies in a couple of weeks. It's all going to ramp up again. And Spurs have got their business well underway.